All UK airports are required to take a fresh look at their current flight paths up to 7,000 feet as part of the government's airspace modernisation strategy. Meanwhile, NATS, the UK's air traffic navigation service provider, is modernising airspace above 7,000 feet. Stansted sits within some of the busiest airspace in the world. The region is especially complex due to the proximity and number of other neighbouring airports, which has led to outdated and inefficient flight paths. Airspace modernisation could simplify this situation and offer a wide range of benefits to our local communities. The government has outlined a seven-stage process for airspace change that airports must follow with the Civil Aviation Authority, or CAA, assessing the work completed at the end of each stage. London Stansted Airport started the process in 2019 and completed Stage 1, Define, during summer 2020 by submitting our Statement of Need, which sets out why we believe changes are required and establishing a set of design principles. These are a set of high-level considerations used to guide the development of our route options. Our design principles were developed through stakeholder engagement in 2020. Stage 2, Develop and Assess, is where route options start to be developed and Stansted began this stage in 2021. A comprehensive list of route options was developed, which were informed by the design principles. This included routes with different climb gradients to allow for departing aircraft with different capabilities and to reduce noise impact on communities overflown. Route options also consider local factors, such as noise-sensitive sites and local communities. Two rounds of stakeholder engagement were held to share our progress and gather feedback and input into the development of the options. At Stage 2, route options were evaluated against the design principles developed and agreed in Stage 1 to give a clear picture of how each option responded to each of the design principles. In addition, an initial assessment of the likely impacts of each potential route option was completed. Stage 3 will include a full public consultation, where the airspace process and routes will be shared with the public for comment. Stansted looks forward to continuing its work with local stakeholders. To find out more and see how you can get involved, visit our website www.stansteadairport.com forward slash future airspace. Full details of the work completed so far can be found at www.airspacechange.caa.co.uk.